What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have some more rare and epic WWE Elite figures. <laughs> So if you guys saw my video from a few days ago, you would have seen that I posted some of my rarest figures in my collection from the Elite line. You know, no customization, no, you know, any changes to the figures whatsoever. Maybe a head swap, I don't know, I can't even remember. But uh, a lot of you guys enjoyed that video. You said you wanted to see more, so I selected another hand few of my rarest figures in my collection from the WWE Mattel line and we're going to go through them right here guys so let's go ahead and get straight into it so to start us off guys we have two of the rarest CM Punk figures. All the CM Punk figures are actually really, really rare, to be honest with you. If you have all of them, congratulations to you. You have a rare collection. If you have a ton of them, you know, this isn't the rarest CM Punks that are out there, but I'd say they are two of the rarest. I know you have the uh, Straight Edge Society Ringside Exclusive, and then you have a, a few others that are definitely rare, but these are, I would say, pretty rare. I'd say the All-Stars is probably the second rarest, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I think this one, the Elite 1 and the Elite 6 are probably up there as well but uh, you have the all-stars punk right here with a head swap i did switch it out and i like this head scan a lot i love the bearded head scan with the hairy chest it just looks really good i did also switch the knee pads and add the white elbow pad i just think this is such a beautiful punk honestly if i didn't debut punk already with you know the chest tattoo and stuff i probably would have put him in the fed like this i just like long hair punk better he just looks so bad, eh, in my opinion. So this is the All-Stars Elite Punk. It came with a two-pack with Stone Cold. I miss Elite two-packs so much, guys. They, they were just so great. I found this at a con, and the dude gave me the, the whole two-pack for like 30 bucks. so I totally took that. And then, of course, we have the Ringside Exclusive ECW Punk, and it came with the ECW Championship and an ECW Microphone. Both of these figures are really nice. I prefer the All-Stars just because I love the hairy chest. This obviously isn't the right head scan, but I do love the bearded head scan on this one. And it's also a great attire on the back. You do say it does say punk right there. On this one, it is just the Chicago Flag Stars or whatever you want to call it. But uh, both very nice figures. I love CM Punk to death. Love these figures so much. His figures are so great. I wish I had all of them. I need to track them all down. But uh, yeah, we have two of the rare CM Punks to start off our video. Next up, we have another ringside exclusive, guys. We have the ringside exclusive Edge. And to be honest, I don't know if this figure is that rare anymore. I know it used to be very rare because uh, this is the only Edge we've ever gotten with like the black with red kick pad look. We've gotten you know the Camo Hall of Fame, but that didn't have red kick pads. We got the Elite 8, which is an all red attire. We got the Elite 1, which is an all black attire. And uh, this one's pretty cool. I mean, I like it a lot. I love this fix-up head skin on there. I like the pissed-off edge look. Got the Reddit R t-shirt on there as well. But uh, what made this figure so special is that it came with a unique head scan and it came with the Rated R Championship, you know, the spinner. That was, you know, very, very rare at that time because nobody had ever seen that before. It was first time and you could not get that belt unless you got that until we got the ringside exclusive belt pack. But it's a pretty sweet figure. You got, you know, Rated R Superstar on the side. You got some cool things going on with it. I do enjoy this Edge figure. Uh, it was one of my most sought after figures until we got the, uh, the five pack, the belt five pack. So I paid... A pretty, uh, pretty penny for for this figure. So I got to be honest about that. I did pay a decent amount for this figure, but I did get it loose. But uh, that's pretty much it for this Edge Elite. Next up, do you guys smell what The Rock is cooking right here with this Defining Moments Elite Rock? This rock right here is pretty special, guys. Uh, I don't know how much this thing goes for, but it's pretty expensive on eBay, especially if you have it complete with the Rock and Sock Connection shirt and the jacket and the sweatpants. I believe this is what the figure looks like when you don't have any accessories on it. It's very cool. You have the Rock logo in gold with the purple outline, which is very unique. You got the Brahma Bull in the back with that same gold and purple colorway. Great head scan, great figure overall. It just looks so much like the Rock in the Attitude Era. I think it's a perfect Rock figure. This one I got in a trade, and I don't know what it is, if it's just because it's an old figure or what because he kind of stands like like he's got like I don't know like he's doing like a stance or something but it is a nice figure overall it's got a little bit of paint chipping but nothing too crazy tight joints and everything like that see it's got like the like the JTG hat it's like I don't know I need to put it in some hot water or something 
but uh, very great rock figure, guys. If you have an opportunity to pick this rock up, I definitely would recommend getting it. Next up, we have two different MVP elites, guys. Isn't that crazy? We got two MVP elites before he left the company, but we have the Elite 1 MVP, one of the first Mattel figures ever made, and then we have the Elite 9 MVP over here. Obviously, the first one is in long sleeves, and he has the blue colorway, and on the back it says MVP, and then on this one, you have the little MVP logo up there as well, and the zipper, little blue nose tape, and anyways, we have this one. You got MVP on the chest. Uh, his tattoos actually on this one got some uh, gloves on there. I love the gloves on these guys. They look so great. I love the way they look with the colors and everything. Uh, pretty much just a black and blue attire and then a red and black attire. Uh, you see the kick pads right there. Both of them are the same, except these are red, obviously. And then this isn't even the headband that came with the figure. I don't know where that is, but I did put the Terry Funk, the Elite 40 Terry Funk. I put, or Elite 41, I think. Yeah, Elite 41 Terry Funk. I put that headband on there, and it really completes the figure. On the back, you have the M Star logo there. I think MVP's figures are very underrated. They have a lot of cool detail. The head skins look just like MVP. And I'm very blessed to have both of them in my collection. I have them up there on their own shelf. You know, the MVP collection. I know it's small, but at least I have two, the only two Mattel Elite MVPs that uh, Mattel ever gave us. Next up, we have 619 himself, Rey Mysterio in the purple and black. Look, guys, this is the Elite One Rey Mysterio. With the MVP, this is one of the first ever Elite Mattel figures that we got from Mattel. And it's a great figure, guys. It has purple and black going down both sides. Got 619 right there in that fuchsia pinkish color, which is accurate. You know, it's not supposed to be this color. It actually is like a pinkish color. But uh, I love this figure to death. I have uh, quite a few Mysterios. I think I have almost all of them. And this one's pretty rare. I mean, it's the first Rey Mysterio ever made. One of the first ever Mattel figures ever made. So it's definitely worth a pretty penny. I think every Rey Mysterio right now is going for a pretty penny just because, you know, he's uh, mentioned to return. He's not with the company anymore. So it's sort of just, you know, skyrocketed his price value. So if you find a Rey Mysterio figure for cheap, guys, definitely pick it up. If you have any Rey Mysterio elites, they are going for a good amount of money so you definitely want to either hang on to them or sell them off and you can buy some other figures that you're looking for but this is a great Rey Mysterio Elite and I would definitely recommend getting it if you do not have one and our last rare Elite figure in this video guys is this Brock Lesnar you don't think there's too much special about it it looks exactly like the Wrestlemania 32 Elite Brock Lesnar but this is the ringside exclusive Brock Lesnar I do not know when this exactly released but it is an awesome figure you get the Brock shirt it's got the spine going down on the back you do have the spine on the trunks and uh, that's pretty much it guys I mean this is my favorite time of Brock this is when he was in the ruthless aggression era WWE champion running through Smackdown live just killing it that's back when it was just Smackdown though and uh, he got the elbow pads on there great looking figure I just love this figure this is one of the first Mattel figures I got when I first got into the line this that I got like a big ringside exclusive like uh a pack off eBay. It was like some guy was selling off his collection. I bought a few of them on auction and I got really, really uh, lucky to get all of these figures. It comes with a great head scan. It came with the WWE Championship as well from that time. So uh, it, it was a great figure to pick up and it's got really tight joints. Whoever collected it before me did a really awesome job of taking care of it. So I appreciate I think I got this and this CM Punk from the same exact seller. Maybe even the Edge. So that'll tell you I did get quite a few ringside exclusives in that batch and I think it was like a hundred bucks but I got a ton of figures. I got like an under, uh, like a few Undertakers, a few Brocks, some Paul uh, Paul Heymans, even a Paul Bear build a figure, I think. So I definitely got my money's worth, guys. But uh, that is our last rare elite figure for this video. But yeah, guys, that about does it for this video of rare WWE elite figures. If you want to see a part three, guys, let me know down in the comments section below. I'm grinding hard on MDT Live. I'm grinding hard on getting My Damn Halls episode 50 up to you guys. So definitely be on the lookout. I'm going to be grinding hard the next few days trying to get that up to you guys. If you want to see a part three, definitely let me know down in the comments section below and I'll do my best to round up some rare figures from my collection. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Leave a like, comment down below your favorite figure from this little video here, as well as letting me know if you own any of these figures and how you got them. I would be interested to know, did you get them when they first released, or did you pick them up in or after market value? That would be interesting to me to find out. Let me know down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.